Generations of Computers Computer generations are based on when major technological changes in computers occur, like the use of vacuum tubes, transistors, and the microprocessor. There are five generations of computers. Let's discuss about them. Generation of Computers The period of first generation was from 1940 to 1956. The first generation of computers started with vacuum tubes. These were widely used in the first computer system for circuitry, while magnetic drums were used for the memory purpose. As we are most likely aware, vacuum tubes were larger components and resulted in the first generation computers being quite large in size, taking up a lot of space in the room. Some of the first generation computers took up an entire room. ENIAC is a great example of first generation computer. It consisted of only 20,000 vacuum tubes. ENIAC is the great example of first generation computer. It consisted of nearly 20,000 vacuum tubes. First generation computer in 1940s and 1956 And the major development is time period methi wo vacuum tubes thi. First generation ke andar jo computers developed hue the wo size mein bahut zyada bade the. First generation of computers ke andar computer ka size bahut zyada bada hota tha kyunki unke andar vacuum tubes use ki jati thi. Vacuum tube is an electronic device that controls the flow of electrons in a vacuum. It is used as a switch, amplifier or display screen in many older model radios and televisions. ENIAC is the example of first generation computer. 1940s starting period tha computers ki development ka. ENIAC is the example of first generation computer. The period of second generation of computers was from 1956 to 1963. In second generation, there was the introduction of transistors, which came in to replace vacuum tubes. The creation came about at Bell Laboratories in 1947. Transistors were smaller than vacuum tubes and allowed computers to be smaller in size, faster in speed, and cheaper to build. Not only were transistors smaller, but they were also cheaper to build, more energy efficient, and worked at a faster speed. Their only downside was that they generated a lot of heat which could cause damage to the computer. However, it was still a great improvement to its predecessor. Few examples of second generation computers are TX0, IBM 7094, Univac 1107. Computers ki second generation ka tenure 1956 and 1963 tak in this tenure, the major development was transistors. Transistors, which were size mein smaller, the, more energy efficient, the, in ko istemal karke computer ko banaya gaya. Transistors ka sabse bada drawback heat generation tha. Is heat generation ki wajah se wo computer ko bhi damage kar sakte the. Transistor is an electronic component that can be used as an amplifier or as a switch. It is used to control the flow of electricity in radios, televisions, and computers. Transistor is an electronic device that we use to control the flow of electricity. We use transistors in the television, radio, and computers. Ke andar karte the period of third generation of computer was from 1964 to 1971. In third generation, integrated circuits were introduced, which are still in use today. These integrated circuits reduce the size of computer even more than the second generation and gain speed things up. Nearly all computers since the mid to late 1960s have utilized ICs. ICs are still used in computers today. What is integrated circuit? It is a small electronic circuit printed on a chip usually made of a silicon that contains many its own circuit elements. For instance, transistors, diodes, and resistors. We call it integrated circuit. Computer ki third generation ka tenure 1964 to 1971 tak The major development in this era was integrated circuits, which are still used in computers. This era ke andar integrated circuits introduced hue. I see a electronic chip hai, jisko use karte hue computer ko banaya jata hai. The period of fourth generation of computer was from 1971 to 2010. In the fourth generation of computer, the invention of microprocessors 
commonly known as CPU helped to get computers to the desk and later lab size that we still know and use today. Microprocessors with integrated circuits helped make it possible for computers to fit easily on a desk and for the introduction of the laptop. Some of the earliest computers to use microprocessor include the Altair and IBM 5100. Computers ki fourth generation ka tenure 1971 se 2010 tak consider kiya jata hai. Major development in this era was microprocessor, jis hum CPU kehte hain. Aaj ke time mein jo computers hum use karte hain, desktop ya laptop, wo microprocessor ki wajah se hum use karte hain. Fourth generation mein microprocessor ki invention ke baad laptop and desktop computers bane, jinko hum aaj bhi istemal karte hain. Microprocessor is an electronic component held on an integrated circuit that contains a computer's central processing unit and other associated circuits. CPU is often referred as the brain or engine of a computer, where the most of the processing and operations takes place. Aaj ke time mein jo hum laptops or computers use kar rahe hain, un sab ke andar CPU hai. Microprocessor fourth generation ki ek bohut badi invention aur bohut badi success thi, jiske baad tiny ya small computers banana possible hua jinko hum aaj bhi istemal karte hain like laptop desktop ya phir smartphones the period of fifth generation of computer start from 2010 and is still going on although we are still using the technology from the fourth generation but we are moving to the new era of technology in this era the use of artificial intelligence is very common applications like siri in apple Alexa and Microsoft Cortana. These are the common examples of artificial intelligence applications. The Google search engine also utilizes artificial intelligence to process user searches. AI is constantly adopting and moving forward. Computer ki fifth generation ka tenure 2010 se lekar aaj tak ko consider kiya ja raha hai. Is generation ke andar hum fourth generation ki technology ko bhi use kar rahe hain. और आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस को भी इंट्रोड्यूस किया गया है हम बहुत सारी एप्लीकेशंस लाइक सिरी एलेक्सा एंड कोटाना यूज करते हैं जो कि हम अपने मोबाइल और कंप्यूटर्स के अंदर यूज कर रहे हैं दीज आर द कॉमन एग्जांपल्स ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस बेसिकली अ कंप्यूटर साइंस की एक सब फील्ड है इस फील्ड के अंदर सिमुलेशन के थ्रू कंप्यूटर को इंटेलिजेंट बनाया जाता है मींस कि हम कंप्यूटर को इतना प्रोएक्टिव और प्रोडक्ट बना देते हैं कि वो ह्यूमन की तरफ बिहेव करे हम जो एप्लीकेशंस अपने मोबाइल या लैपटॉप पे या कंप्यूटर्स पे यूज कर रहे हैं उन एप्लीकेशंस के अंदर आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस का इस्तेमाल बढ़ता जा रहा है फिफ्थ जनरेशन के अंदर बहुत सारी रिसर्च की जा रही है फिफ्थ जनरेशन के अंदर आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस को यूज किया जा रहा है और उसकी रिसर्च अभी भी कंटिन्यू है इस तरह से मोर एडवांसमेंट के साथ न्यू एप्लीकेशंस भी बनाई जा रही हैं जिनको इस जनरेशन में यूज किया जाएगा these were the generations of computer. Computer ki generations ko certain time period ke andar divide kiya gaya hai. Aur har tenure mein jo sabse badi technological advancement thi uske saath us generation ko yaad rakha jata hai. Like vacuum tubes in first generation, transistors in second generation, integrated circuits in third generation, microprocessors in fourth generation, and artificial intelligence in fifth generation. This way, in generations ko divide kiya gaya hai and in technological terms ke saath yaad rakha jata hai. Well, that's all about this tutorial. I'll see you next. Thank you.